Working together is a subconscious process most of the time. We've been working together our whole lives. This whole creative process of making things and sharing it with other people uh, started you know, when we were kids and we just make an art project and show our parents and then we start playing music and we play gigs together and then so I mean, we, I, I, we, all, we talk about it a lot like it's a marriage. If you look at it that way, it's, it kind of starts to make sense. It's just like we found someone that we generally get along with. Uh, we share some sensibilities. There was enough to make us joined at the hip. And then we just work our asses off at it. And we stay in and we don't get divorced. Here we are. Here we are. Sitting in almost matching t-shirts. Yep. Interviewing for Emmy Magazine, guys. That's right. Thank you. Acting is really fun and you show up and they send you back to your trailer and you just can relax. Um, and you know, writing and directing, as fun as it may look, it's actually not, uh, I wouldn't call it fun. You're kind of like- It's not fun. It's not fun. You're like holding the whole universe. I call it hard. It's hard, but it's super fulfilling. I mean, we find it incredibly helpful um, to be to be co-directors. It's, it's comforting. It's the, the basic thing that happens is, um, whoever's feeling a little more confident, a little stronger that day tends to take a lead and we just run this little seesaw of strength and weakness together and yeah, it's usually pretty evident when we see each other in the morning who has the darkest eyes and who's going to lead the day. Producing's been a fun thing for us that we kind of fell into later in our careers. which We never really planned on being producers per se, but digging back into our community of friends and and kind of being a part of other people's like journey towards taking their stuff out is has been surprisingly um, kind of great. I mean, I guess there's a lot of talk about how TV is like a great destination for not only filmmakers but particularly independent filmmakers because you can make a lot of great stuff. And it began with the project of togetherness and us realizing that we had a story about a group of four people that we felt would be longer than 90 minutes and it didn't really make sense for it to be a movie. When we built Togetherness it was built really for Steve Zissis and a chance to show the world like how awesome he is and what we love about him. And it's pretty much um, everything that happens in the show comes from something in someone's life that we know. You know the show is about 40 year old people, two of them are married with kids and um, dreaming about what, how awesome it would be to actually just walk out the front door and do whatever you want to do. And the other two are uh, single people who don't have traction and they're dreaming about how great would it be to be married and have your person and have kids. So we, these are all of our friends. All the stories come from the soup of our lives and that of our friends. We're having a really hard time talking about season two of Togetherness because um, there's a big cliffhanger at the end of season one. So. Um, not only do we not want to spoil it, but we've had this experience where some people who are fans of the show will come up to us and they'll say, you gotta tell me what happens, just give me a little something. And as soon as we start to open our mouths, they go, don't say anything! And that's kind of how we feel, is like, your best bet, if you want to know something about the show, is to go binge the first season of it and then just show up and watch the second one. It's yeah. so good. Guys, you have no idea how good it is. It's, it's, it's actually great. It's great. It's great. I've been researching this show since I was like 10 years old because I have been in love with 70s music since I was really, really young. I, mean, I was a kid in the 70s, but I was here. And so I heard that music playing on the radio 